Hello there, Mark Houlihan for Speedway Motors. We're at the 2022 SEMA show, and we're here with Bob Viscosi and Stuart Warner Instruments. We want to talk a little bit about instrumentation today, and who else better to talk to than Stuart Warner, who's been making gauges for over 100 years. Now, Bob, one of the questions we get all the time mm -hmm. is short sweep versus long sweep gauge faces. What are the benefits, or, or if there's any detractions? Right. You know, what, what's the reason for wanting that that larger sweep? Okay. Well, the uh, larger sweep gauges have a full 270 degree sweeping angle, as you can see here, and that's a be a mechanical gauge. The uh, short sweep would be a 90 degree sweep, and that would be an electrical gotcha. gauge. The uh, of course the wider sweeping gauge has more resolution, so you can see exactly where you are with temperature, pressure, that type of thing. And there's only one source of error, just the gauge itself. The electrical gauge uses this electrical sender that goes with it, and that also has a, an accuracy rating. So if you compound the gauge accuracy with the sender accuracy, you know, sometimes it can be off a little bit further than a mechanical gauge. Gotcha. So, so even, though, even though we've got, you know, a lot of people think, oh, mechanical gauge, those are old, I want new right. modern electric gauges. You're saying a mechanical gauge is actually more accurate. Yes. Now the only advantage I could think of an electrical gauge would be installation. It can sometimes be easier because you don't have to run a big capillary tube for a temperature gauge with a bulb on it through the firewall. Gotcha. Now another, another big question we get asked a lot is on lighting, specifically perimeter lighting, right. on, like on older gauges, versus a lot of the newer gauges that are coming out have through the lens lighting. Is there a benefit like for nighttime driving or, or just being able to see the resolution of, the, of those gauge numbers? Yeah, a through lit gauge such as this one, of course is gonna be much easier to read. However, you know, if you want the old school traditional look, you would wanna go with something more like a perimeter lit gauge. Gotcha. So it, it's a, not necessarily something where you've got uh, a classic car that, that if they're going to make a resto mod or some sort of pro touring car out of, then they'll want a more modern looking gauge. But with the classics, right. that perimeter lit gauge is, is your, your sales leader. Yep, exactly. That's right. the go-to gauge for anything that's uh, an antique car or somebody that wants to restore a car and look like the original. Okay. Now, now, while we're on the subject of lighting, another big question we get quite a bit is uh, the actual color of the illumination. Right. Uh, you know, like a red versus green, again, what's easier to see? You know, we got, we're getting older every day, our eyes are getting yeah, older, you know. I know what you mean. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, versus even just like, say, a white faced or white colored gauge. Yeah, yeah. Our uh, gauges come with incandescent bulbs, which have like an amber color to them and we use a light ring inside, which is underneath the mass, that actually reflects the light across the dial face and the pointer to help you be able to read them easier. And we have a, most of the gauges have a, a light blue tint to this ring, which changes the color of the light to white, which is definitely brighter and easier to read. So, and then we also have gauges with like a green, our Heavy Duty Plus has a, a green tinted ring to it. And these are also standard size bulbs. Okay. So if you want to switch over to an even brighter LED of different colors, like you have, this one actually does have a green LED in it that really enhances the green. Um, over here we have red LED in this one and blue LED in the far one on the right there and the wings. So we briefly touched on mechanical versus electric gauges when we discussed the short versus long sweep uh, gauge faces. Uh, obviously you sell electric gauges, so where would an electric gauge best be used? Um, electrical gauges are good for, for example, if you need to have multiple functions, you have a, a tight area where you can't put four or five gauges because you have a limited amount of space. Okay. For example, we have a multifunctional display like what you see here, where you can actually toggle through the different types of gauge parameters water temp, oil pressure, fuel level, and so on. And then obviously, a lot of vehicles out there, engine and transmission swaps, they have modern uh, electronic speed sensors on the transmissions with no physical gear. So in that case, an electric speedometer is pretty much your only option, correct? Yeah, yeah. yep, exactly. Much easier to calibrate than trying to find the correct size gear in the transmission. 
Um, most of our speedos, well, you can just do a measured mile to program them, which is a very easy way to do it. You don't need to know tire size, axle ratio, or any of that kind of information. You just drive the measured mile, and with three pushes of a button, your speedometer is calibrated. Great, so you do all the math for the customer. You basically, yep. they just need to know a measured mile, they can do that with their daily driver or with uh, mile markers on the highway, press exactly. a couple buttons and they're calibrated. And if you want to make it even easier than that, we also have a GPS receiver, which is just a simple plug and play hookup. You don't even have to. Okay, for those instances where they have some weird transmission combination with no electronic sensor, uh, you know, maybe their, their speedometer right. drive gear is missing or something like that. Or if it's a, a tight area where you can't put a Hall effect sensor on the transmission. Gotcha, yeah, really small transmission tunnel. Just a much easier installation to start yeah. with a GPS. Just, just mount that GPS sensor up on the dash or inside the dash and they're good to go. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well. I uh, hope that really helps uh, with your Stuart Warner gauge questions here. Bob, thanks so much for having us in the booth. Sure, no and problem. We'll see you all soon.